Do Server 2019 System Administration. Welcome back everybody. I am Prakash Vidhan, your trainer for this entire series. In today's topic, we are going to talk about the child domain. So child domain is actually, uh, it's a that shares the part of your primary domain. Uh, the, the basic concept of using this primary domain is to reduce the load of the primary domain if in case you are going to have a your branch office somewhere else or it may be in a distance you are going to need some sort of a, another one do domain in order to perform your network work now over here if you have a look in this figure let's say i have a one domain that's my parent domain that's a biotech.com let's say it is somewhere in india now if in case yes you happen to create another one domain that might be somewhere in states or any other country in the world. In that case, you might be thinking that now the another responsibility has to be added to the biotech.com. That means there should be a, you know, some sort of this management issues also in terms of your objects, your group policies, your security issues and all. So in that case, in order to reduce any kind of your security issues, security threats, okay your working load and all we have another one option that we call a child domain so this child domain is usually or let's say basically it shares the part of the domain name and after the child domain is set okay from the parent do domain it used to have its own security concern that means it has nothing to do with the primary domain whereas the primary domain controller can look after the entire thing what is going around in a child domain that means child domain will have their own group policies they will have their own securities okay they will have their own objects they will have their entire policies separate without affecting the root domain that means your parent domain so in that case setting up a prior let's say the setting of your child domain will definitely help to reduce the burden of your parent domain otherwise let's say in your head office you are going to have in india let's say 500 clients are there okay and you have now another one branch of this instead somewhere in that case in that department also you are going to have some users now if you intend to manage all those objects for staying in an indian india somewhere in a branch at a head office or let's say branch in states in that case you think about the policies the thing about the objects think about the security that you are going to face so that's why the child domain will have their own premises that means whatever contents are over here, whatever policies are here, that has no effect in your parent domain. But still, this child domain will be under the control of your parent domain and the administrator of this parent domain, the main root domain, can look after the entire thing with whatever is being set in your child domain. Okay, now let's see how to configure your child domain. So I have one my own domain over here okay it's our primary domain okay it's a biotech.com let's see once more time also step by step it's a biotech.com now i do have another one server that i intend to have or install a child domain this is my child domain okay but here the domain rule is not added simply this computer is a part of your domain controller that means it's a member nothing else or i should say it's a client so let's see okay now if you have a look over here this operating system server 2019 is not a domain controller it's a part of domain see okay it's a part of your domain viatech.com the domain name okay and the full computer name is cdc.viatech.com there is nothing over here this is acting as a client only so now if i go to my primary domain controller in order to see uh, the condition of your you know the cdc pc if i go over here in my active directory users and computers you should be able to see that uh, the cdc is nothing just a one client of the server now after that we are going to promote it as a child domain if i go to computers you see this is nothing just a client pc now this client pc of course it's a server now we are going to promote it as a child domain okay now for that before we go to promote this one as a child domain of course 
we do have to set an IP configuration first one. Okay, so let's see the IP configuration of this PC also. Okay, it seems my system is slow again. Okay, no problem. <coughs> okay, now if I go to my IP configuration, you'll notice that this one is just a member of this firetech.com. Now, as I already said, that the uh, child domain simply says a name of your root domain. That means a parent domain. This is the IP. So, this one is simply a member, nothing else. Now, if I have a look over here in the figure that I was talking about in first, here, you see the parent domain is biotech.com. As I also said that, your <coughs> child domain is a domain that shares a part of the domain name. That means if I wanted to have one separate domain that is associated with my parent domain, in that case, this child domain will be associated with the parent domain. Of course, it has its own domain name, test, but it has a boundary. That means test.biotech.com. It has to share the namespace of the primary domain controller. So let's go to my CDC. I'm going to add a role. Of course, Active Directory, users and this computer is already added over here. That means your the process of making a domain controller, nothing else. See here, Active Directory Domain Services has been already installed. Okay, now after that, of course, everybody knows how to add this one. So that's why I don't want to show that process. Everybody knows that. Now I need to promote it. But before I promote this server as a child domain in order to save the name of your root domain so that your working load gets reduced, there is no security issue and child domain will have their own policies, own objects without affecting the security of the primary domain. But still, the child domain will be under the control of the primary domain. In that case, in your, if I go to your root domain, in a parent domain, if you have a look here, in your site, okay, site and services, you should notice that there is only one site. That's a default site. So let's change the name of first that default site. If I happen to open, see, it's a default site. So I'm going to write <coughs> this site name as a my, let's say, parent. Okay. Now I need to create another one site. And that's see, inside a parent, I have a DC. It's a main DC. Okay, now I'm going to create another one side that is for my read only domain controller. So, sorry, I mean to say that's your child domain. So let's write a name. Let's say that might be your branch. Okay, let's say only the branch. Okay, done. Okay, now there's nothing. Now, this name we will be needing when we promote that server into your child domain here. Now let's start the process of promoting this one as a child domain. It's an easy going step, there's nothing to worry. So now, I believe you all know the meaning of all these three radio buttons. Add a domain controller to an existing domain. That means RODC and your additional domain. And next one is actually for the child domain. And last one is a, for the new domain in a forest. So let it go. But also do, do remember that in this PC first you should make a member okay now we are going to add a domain to an existing forest and here we are going to make certain changes so it's loading that we call ICT let it get loaded okay now here it has come now I, I want to have a new domain to an existing forest you see as soon as I choose this one add a new domain to an existing forest it has by default loaded my root domain that's a parent domain Okay, now which one is the new domain name? If you remember from the figure that I have shared last time, it is over here. So let's see that once more. If you have a look over here, I have, you know, ma managed to create another one domain. That's a child domain that will be under the control of this parent domain. The name of child domain we have decided as per the figure is test. So I'm going to give the name test over here. But don't forget, as I already said, the primary domain controller's name has to be shared by the child domain. That means if I wanted to give a name of my domain as a test, now my full domain name will be test.viatech.com. Okay, so let's say TEST. Do not write viatech.com over here. 
otherwise it will be test biotech.com dot biotech.com it will be something like that now of course i need to give a credential of my root domain that's a parent domain so i need to change it so let's give over here now this is my password okay next Do not forget to create a site before you process this. Otherwise, you might be needing to restart or refresh over here. Okay, because the separate site is created in a main domain. You need to refresh sometime. You, you even sometime your uh, child domain has to be restarted sometime before you promote. Otherwise, the site name will not be displayed over there. This is a precaution you should remember. Now, okay, see site name. It has come over here okay parent is the first one this branch one if i have not created over here the site in that case it would not be able to display over here okay of course now it is going to act as a separate domain you will have to provide a password for the dsrm and for this video is already made long back ago if you have no idea about what it is please go through my previous video so dsrm password has to be there it it will have its own global catalog don't forget that as well now go to next okay so uh, credential is the same thing I don't have to worry about that now net bias name you see yourself if you have gone through my first few videos then you should be able to guess what name is going to be displayed over here in a net bias remember that's only the first part of your domain name now over here it's a child domain so the first part of the child domain is the test test.biotech.com so the net bias name is going to be treated as a test only nothing else so next of course we are going to now promote it into a child domain and when you promote this server as a child domain obviously it is going to have its own database it's going to have its own sysvol ntds folder entire thing because this is going to act independently as a one of your domain so go to next next that was a summary now then we'll install hopefully i don't want to uh, you know forward your this video so it's better wait for a few seconds even if we have to wait for a minute there is no harm on that so congratulations pretty good it check is completed okay now install it don't forget by the time we are promoting this one as a child domain if i go to the main domain and i go to users and computers over here you'll notice the computer cdc is here in a list of computers because that is a your member nothing else so far till now now then we go over here let it promote to full it's installed entire thing it has to create a sysbol you know it has to create those ntds and all so that's why it takes time this is a full process of promoting your server into a domain control so that's why it takes time don't worry if it takes too long i'm going to forward the video when i open So it's installing. Wait for a few more minutes. Don't worry, this was the sound of my mobile. The cable seems to be loose, so that's why it's, it's making sound. So let it install the entire thing. As I told you, it's the same process of promoting a server into a domain controller. So that's why it takes time.
okay now it's done now it's going to restart okay now after that we'll see what will happen to this child domain so let it restart of course i don't have to restart this manually it's going to restart itself so it's restarting now we'll meet after it gets restart okay now our child domain has been restarted now if you see over here sign in to test that means test.biotech.com is the full name of your domain that means sharing the name of your parent domain and your child domain name is test now let's log in over here using the administrative credential and we are going to see now what will be the differences between your parent domain and your child domain how does it look like now let's go to our parent domain first okay now i'm going to take you to parent domain by the time it's loading uh, your credential in your child domain now let's see okay this is my main domain that means root domain now if i refresh it over here okay see domain controller there is only dc computers let's see what is this now computer name is this dns name is this that means cdc.biotech.com it's a dns name now okay now if i go to domain controller and refresh it again refresh it it will remain here only. okay now if i go back to my child domain now this is my child domain successfully it's loaded now now let it complete its ict that means initial configuration test before doing that your server manager is not going to be open so that's why it's loading now so wait for a few more seconds now i'm going to create some of the objects in my parent domain okay let's go to parent domain of course i'm switching so many times because you need to see all these things practically so i'm going to create one let's say just one oh you i guess okay let's say testing okay i have created one ou in my parent domain in a root domain that means that's a testing okay so by the time your child domain is ready okay so it's here now if i go to tools and i go to active directory users and computers what do you think the ou which i created just now will get display over here or not obviously the answer is no because we already discuss about the advantage or the benefit of using your child domain is that it will have its own premises it will have your its own policies on objects okay on setting so that's why it's not going to be listed over here neither whatever things are done in a, a child domain is going to get display in a root domain they are going to have their own separate domain areas okay now it's loading it's the first time it's loading so that's why it will take time don't worry now if i go to users and computers in my child domain so let's see what's gonna display over here as i said the testing ou should not be displayed over here if it does then we fail because that will be treated as your additional domain this is not additional domain okay now see i told you child domain is going to share a name of a parent domain viatech.com and the name of your child domain is test. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if I open over here, see, there is no OU that I created. What if I create any of the OU over here? Let's try. Now, I'm going to try from, okay, from CDC, okay, child domain controller. Now, will it get replicated to the primary domain? And the answer is again no before you go to the primary domain answer is no is there cdc definitely no okay now the child domain is created now they are going to have your own domain they are going to have their own premises 
So whenever any client join to this child domain, the child domain name has to be given in full. That means joining a child domain, the client's PC is going to give the full name of your DNS. That means your test.biotech.com. Now, what if you wanted to go to the parent domain staying at the child domain? Simply right click. Okay, change domain. Where do you want to go? Browse it. Viatech.com. Okay. Easily. See, now I am in Viatech.com. See, testing is here. Now, can I create one object here? Can I create? No. Rename. No. Why? Because I already told you that in a child domain will have their own premises. You have no right to do any changes from there. But of course, the your root domain or the par parent domain administrator can manage your re uh, child domain credentials also. That means I mean to see all the objects, wh whatever things are done, okay, whatever things are created over here that can be seen from the your parent domain. But what if I go to my, let's say, group policy? Let's see entire thing step by step. No need to be in hurry. Now, if I go over here, okay, this is the biotech.com. Is there option? No. Group policy management. Can you connect? This is adding a forest. Okay. Now, right click. So domains. Which one? Test.biotech.com. Okay. Now, what if I wanted to go over here, biotech.com? See now, I'm here. This is group policy of your biotech.com. Can I create one group policy? No. You can simply see only because this is the separate domain now. So in that case, you know, a child domain can be created in your network environment. Okay, and it will have your own security, entire security, entire policy, entire objects are separate. Advantage is that the child domain is going to share the part of the domain name and from the root domain, from the parent domain, whatever objects are being created, whatever policies are being set that can be monitored from the parent domain. That means some sort of your head, head office. So that's why I guess it was quite clear in easy going step. And I believe that you can now easily configure a child domain in any domain environment. So if you think it was a fruitful, please do.